Welcome to the third video in our kitchen series. Today I'm going to be chatting about the layout of our new kitchen, so make sure to subscribe and follow along. almost a year we were able to kind of see what the pain points were in our kitchen so check that out in the first video if you missed it and also check out the last video to see the storage of how we're currently using our kitchen where we open everything up and kind of share in all the cabinets either way today let's talk about the layout so we're gonna be starting in this corner here with our fridge this is a pretty old fridge it makes a lot of noise it is probably not very energy efficient so we're gonna be upgrading to a different one we're also going to be pushing it all the way to the wall. Right now we have a lot of space in between the counter and between the other wall there. And then doing a proper cabinet above that comes all the way in line with the fridge. That way we don't have all this mess up here and then we can actually access like the doors um, instead of having them blocked. One of the big things we'll be doing is removing kind of the soffit bulkhead up there. So everything um, is gonna be able to be pushed all the way up to the ceiling. We're going to be doing a tall, narrow cabinet here, kind of as our pantry zone. This is the cabinet that I completely overlooked in the first iteration of my design. But obviously, knowing that we don't have very good tall storage or kind of an area to put kind of all of our food stuff, I think this is going to work out really well. And I'm also going to try and put our coffee maker in there, but we'll see how that works out. With the software removed at the top, we'll be able to push these kind of cabinets all the way to the ceiling and then we're going to be doing a shelf underneath. In the corner we're going to do an extra tall cabinet so it kind of meets the little shelf here and we'll put all of our kind of everyday dishes, plates, cups, uh, wine glasses, whatever we use on a regular basis. In the base cabinets we're going to be moving our dishwasher all the way over here. It sounds like it's really far but using the dishwasher you just have to rotate over kind of 90 degrees to put your things in. Right now our dishwasher is way too close and I hate it, so I wanted to move it over. We have done this layout before where we have the dishwasher in kind of like an opposite corner and as long as you have enough space to both back up and turn around and then also open the dishwasher, you should be good. I knew that moving it would give us still good access to the sink and it'll also be able to um, help us when we're unloading it and putting all our dishes right here. So that should hopefully work a lot better for us. Next to the dishwasher, I'm gonna have a couple of drawers and this is where we're gonna be putting our Tupperware and our kids' plates. Right now they're in this cabinet and they always climb in there and make a mess. So hopefully with the drawers, there's less messes, although we'll see how that turns out. Moving along to this side on the bottom, our corner cabinet is going to go all the way um, into the corner and then pull out this way. We're gonna have the same sink size here. We're just going to go with a single basin instead of the double. I find with the double, at least in our house, we leave the dishes out here to dry and sometimes we'll just come and take them from here, wash them and then put them back. So hopefully with the single sink we'll actually be forced to put things away properly when they're done drying. We're going to have the same four drawers here. It's just going to be a bit wider. So it's worked really well for us right now. Just with the wider space we'll have a bit more room. And we'll also be reorganizing things. We have a bit of a gap between the counter and the oven and the wall. We're going to be leaving our oven here. It's gas, so we don't want to be moving any gas lines or anything like that. And it kind of works. We got the exhaust outside. So we're just going to push it over a little bit uh, so that hopefully things fall down less. Above here, we're going to have our micro hood and then just a small cabinet to hold that and whatever else up there. And then we're going to be completely getting rid of this cabinet. This is going to be our same little knife rack here. It works well. And then we're just going to put storage here, a little storage rack that I bought, um, hold our spices and our oils and stuff like that. The last area we're going to be chatting about today is our kitchen island. We're going to be doing three cabinets. It's going to be kind of a standard five foot width. 
Our kitchen is around 10 by 12 feet, so that's going to give us a good space to walk around um, all the rest of the cabinets and kind of use the kitchen properly. Having the walls down is going to improve the sight lines to the living room and the dining room, but I'm most looking forward to having all of the extra workspace for this island. I think I'm going to put all my baking stuff in here, kind of my pans, my ingredients, all the stuff I have um, in the island, and this, this will kind of be the new work prep zone for our kitchen. Right now, we're kind of squeezed in on our little counter and sometimes it's dark, but I'm thinking that this is going to work out a lot better. video make sure to check out the blog post at madisonmethod.com this coming Tuesday for all of the design decisions for the kitchen so cabinet colors countertops all of that stuff is going to be in there and come back next time check out the next video in the series which is all about the floor demo